guys so today I have a makeup tutorial on the look that I have on it's been a few hours since I actually put the makeup on you'll see the different lighting throughout the video but I just wanted to use Bye. the take me back to Brazil palette from BH so bad and I loved it so I hope you guys enjoy keep watching and subscribe please okay starting with my eyes primed and set i'm gonna go in with my rimmel bronzer and i'm going to use that as a transition shade just on the crease the reason i did this is because i wanted to use only the bh palette but i ended up using a different palette at the end so whatever you have that you can use as a transition shade use that Here I'm just going to switch the brush to a smaller blending brush and I'm still using the Rimmel bronzer. I'm just trying to pack that color on the most that I can so you can tell that it's there. But like I said, make your life easy and just use a different palette. Um, I did a lot of blending with this. <laughs> Going in with the Take Me Back to Brazil palette, the star of the show, I am going in with the darkest purple in the palette. I'm not sure why I didn't show it. I showed the palette, but I didn't show which one I was using. But it's the darkest purple there, and I'm going to apply it in the inner and the outer corner, and I'm going to pack it on until I feel like um, I have the color that I desire. And I pack on and I blend. Pack on and I blend. With this small blending brush, um, it has absolutely no product on it whatsoever. I'm just going to blend everything that I've put down and bring it up in the crease. Just make sure that everything is nice and blended and I have no harsh lines anywhere. Here is where I give in and I go into a different palette. This is a holiday Tarte palette. I'm not sure um, if it's still in or if it was limited edition. But I'm going in with the shade Charcoal Sketch. Just because I wanted to deepen up that purple without necessarily using the black that the BH Cosmetics palette has. So I do that there and I apply it in the outer and the inner corner as well i just don't bring it as far as a purple With a eyeshadow brush, I'm going to go in in that mustard yellow of the palette and I'm going to put it in the center of the lid. If you have a flat shader brush, that would be probably um, easier to use because the brush that I was using wasn't giving me the full pigment that I was trying to go for. But either way it worked, um, I just recommend a flat shader brush. Thank you. 
going back into the purples, I'm going to go in with the lighter shade of purple. And I'm going to use that to blend. I know you guys probably noticed I blend a lot. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to apply that in the crease and kind of diffuse it to where it looks gradient. Then I'm going to go back into the Tarte Holiday Palette and I'm going to use the eyeliner that it comes with. I don't want to do a wing liner to where it will take the tension away from my eyeshadow, but I am going to make a thin old school eyeliner. Now I'm going to prep my lashes for the falsies. I'm going to curl my lashes and then I'm going to add mascara. This is a Tarte Tardius Mascara. I'm not sure if there's, if that's the actual name or if there's something extra, but it's from Tarte. <clears throat> And surprise, surprise, blue lashes from Ardell. These are the Demi Wispies. And I'm just going to apply those. You guys will see at the end why I chose blue lashes. <laughs> but they ended up being a really fun and um, surprising twist that I ended up loving. And finally, moving on to face, I'm going to be using my Avon's Nutra FX uh, Moisturizer. This is for dry skin. And I'm going to put that all over the face. To prime the skin, I'm going to be using my Mario Badescu's Facial Spray, as always. And for foundation, I'm going to be using my Maybelline's Fit Me Foundation in the shade 230. With my Avon Extra Lasting Concealer in the shade Medium Deep, I am just going to conceal and highlight under the eyes, in the bridge of the nose, and in the forehead.
I'm going to be doing a little bit of baking sort of with my air spun and I'm just going to set the under eyes, the bridge of the nose and every place that I concealed. But because I have dry skin, I'm going to wipe it off almost right away. With my BH Studio Pro Powder, I'm just going to set the rest of the face. With the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, I'm going to not only bronze, but contour just a little bit. And I will just be switching brushes to do so. For blush, I'm going to be using this blush trio that we got for BoxyCharm. I promise guys, BoxyCharm never fails. I always love the products that I get. Bubba's is in the back. How beautiful is that Prosecco pop? Like always, I know guys, I'm gonna switch it up soon, I promise. But going back to the BH palette, we're gonna go to the darkest purple again, and I'm just going to smoke out the bottom lash line. Highlighting the inner corner with Prosecco Pop as well. But then I will go in with a pale yellow from the palette. And I'm just very lightly going to tap that in to give it kind of a more yellow reflect. I don't want to really pack it on. I just want it to be kind of a tint. I'm adding a nude lip gloss um, and this is going to be from Tarte Cosmetics as well. I'm going to line with a nude Rimmel lip liner and here I was just trying to conceal my lips a little bit just because they are so pigmented and I did want the true color of the lip gloss to show. And the final step is going to be setting the face. I'm here setting with the setting spray from Wet and Wild. And we are done, guys.
I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like. I'm like, like, wait, like. Where would it be? Comment and subscribe, please. And I will see you in my next video. Salud. Thank you. I lost a lash. Do what? I lost my lash. Okay. So we are going to get started. I'm going to attempt to do a talk through video. Okay. That is the reason why I don't do talk through videos. We'll just make this a voiceover. Somebody's getting killed out there. <laughs> These kids, I swear. Okay, we're just gonna do a voiceover.